Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Oh, wait, crap. I have a beer. It's fine. I have a beer. Almost forgot. I have a beer. It's fine. Anyway, there is some fantastic news coming from Bounding Into Comics, and I actually got to give a shout out to Tim Pool for this one because I wouldn't have known about this without him, but this could be the upset that we need. This is just another tiny thing that goes in the corner of getting back to good storytelling. So without any further ado, it, it's Bud Light. That's the beard. That's that's what it was. And I have it. And now that it's cracked, we can get on to the story. This, this is nuts, guys. This is something to be celebrated. From Bounding Into Comics, a prominent anti-ESG Disney investor calls on company to commit to political neutrality before they're expected to take sides that won't be favorable. Um, yeah, I think they have already done that. I think that that is something that they uh, kind of stepped into when they were trying to fight Florida and some laws and anyway so in the midst of the ongoing public backlash against the company's recent foray into political activism prominent anti-esg disney investor vivek ram uh or ramaswamy uh has made a personal plea to the house of mouse for them to refrain from stepping further into this arena otherwise he warns uh they will be expected to take sides that won't be favorable to its business. So for those of you out there who have heard what ESG is, it stands for environmental and social governance clauses. Now, because of how our law works here in the U.S., the government itself has a very, very hard time passing laws that would follow the ESG mandates, the environmental and social governance mandates. And so what has been happening is the banks, the very large banks, have actually been coming out and writing into their rules associated with their banking that unless you are a company that follows the environmental and social governance stuff, right? This is why we have, uh, uh, we've heard of credit card companies out there who are going to start tracking to a purchases uh, it's also one of the things that if you actually see on uh amazon prime now if you go to buy something anything that says climate pledge friendly that is a part of this the banks are actually forcing businesses to do these things otherwise they will not be able to bank with that bank as part of the agreement of storing your money in the bank this is where the esg stuff comes from or environmental and social governance now a lot of people have linked these type of rules akin to that of what China is doing and their social credit score system. And it is very, very, very similar. It is incredibly similar. So for a major investor for the Disney Corporation to come out and say, look, I'm not down for this. This is going to destroy us. He knows he's going to lose money on this deal. He knows for a fact he's going to lose money on this deal because what this does is this pushes people into having to purchase products on the banking level because, again, governments can't do it. Now, certain governments around the world who don't have the structure of government or a constitution to defend them, they're pushing forward with this. And we're seeing it, and it's kind of hot garbage, and they suck, and thank God we're in America because we still have some semblance of the people being in power, right? We some semblance of it. Not, I mean, it, it still is there, right? Our opinion still matters in this country to our government, which is a very good thing, at least to a certain degree. So with this guy saying you shouldn't do this, he is telling Disney, do not go along with this. Do not do the bylaws. Now, Disney makes it a lot of money. It would be very, very hard for a bank or banks to try to deny Disney, one of the most powerful companies on the planet, a banking, a monetary form of trade right a way to bank a way to transfer money a way to you know invest all of that all of the money that you have goes through a bank transfers from bank to bank now you might have a middleman that simply has a code that allows things to transfer faster so you have to do like a wire transfer or anything like that and that's kind of what like you know paypal and stuff like that that's what was so revolutionary about them is oh my gosh you can actually take this money send it here and bam it's right to them it's that fast right it was a really great way to do that so for a major Disney investor to come out and say, hey, guys, I want you to avoid all this stuff. This, this, I think, with people speaking out against this, this is where the tide changes. This is where the tides turn. This is how it all starts, right? We may not see 
we may not see the results of this. We may not see these things come to fruition for many years now, but it's starting. The, it, it's starting. People are starting to say, no, we can't go down this road. And, and, and we're getting news that one of the most powerful companies' investors is speaking out against this. Continuing on, the, found, the founder of a biopharmaceuticals company, Roviant Sciences, and the author of Woke Inc. Inside Corporate America's Social Justice Scam. Okay, so you can tell his politics right there. Uh, Ramaswamy, if it wasn't already apparent by the title of his book, has been a fervent critic of corporate, um, corporate America. My goodness, Lord. Here, let me have some more beer. Maybe I can talk better. Mm. Um has been a fervent critic of corporate America. Nope, still can't talk better. Well, I'm just retarded, I guess. Oh, sh wait, I don't. Yeah, screw it. Whatever. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. But hey, I'm uploading to Rumble now, too. So that's awesome. Uh, America's recent obsession with the following environmental, social, and governance, ESG principles, which in short essentially serve as uh, rubrics against which companies can rank their communities to such goals as promoting diversity, fighting climate change, performing social outreach, and the like. And hold on, woo! Bounding into comments, I do appreciate what you are doing here. I think this is a well-written article so far, if I could speak through it. However, and the like. Okay, again, this is something that's very, very important. So, to rank their commitments to such goals as promoting diversity, fighting climate change, and performing social outreach and the like okay what you have to understand is that this is controlled by companies who might not like that you drive a gasoline vehicle right banks have come out and said at a certain date they will no longer give out loans to those people this is the fighting the climate change thing to people who want to buy a gasoline vehicle now Electric vehicles are still very, very new in comparison to their counterparts. It's very hard to find a used electric vehicle, although it can still be done. Very hard to find them. And so this right here, banks can deny you a loan based off of the fact that you want to buy a gas guzzling American muscle car. Okay, That's one of those things. Banks can for performing social outreach. Well, it doesn't really look good. And it's not really good for the social outreach for you to be buying 2A items, right? So we're just not, we're not going to allow you to have a debit card. We are just going to snuff that purchase out. And then because you tried to buy a 2A thing on your debit card or your credit card or whatever, um, we're just going to put a little asterisk on your account and we're just going to shut it down for a while. And you'll have to make a written apology to the bank for attempting to buy. This is how they do this stuff, right? This is what the ESG guidelines are for. They are not governmental guidelines, okay? They are corporate guidelines that are going along with a, a lot of the wealthy elites around the world. Again, there's no cabal. There's none of that, right? It's just very, very rich people that get together multiple times a year. And because they think their shit don't fucking stink, they can fucking tell us what to do. And I fucking hate this shit. It's so hard to talk about this shit with a straight fucking face. It really is. Just the more I fucking think about it, the more I think about this, this is why it's so important for people who actually have money invested in these companies on a large amount to speak out about this. It's not just our culture. It's our ability to contribute and perform in the monetary space. It's not just a culture war thing anymore. They will start excommunicating you from being able to buy the things that you need to just to survive simply because you have an opinion, you believe in something that these people think is detrimental to using their resources that they want to hog for them. And it's irritating. And, th and this is a good thing, but damn it, man. I just, sorry, I just, I hit that wall. The more I think about this is part of the reason I don't do a political channel anymore. I started this as a political channel in 2018. This is why this crap here, dude, I can only sustain me being pissed off like this for like two weeks. After that, I get kind of spent, right? It hurts. I got a lot of energy, folks. This crap here, people need to know about. This is what they're going for. It is not going to be done on a governmental level, especially in the U.S. It can't be done in the U.S., on a governmental level but because 
corporations get kind of carte blanche to do what they need to do because they go in and tell the government how to write laws to benefit their corporation style. And if you think that that doesn't happen, look what happened to the banking crash. They invited all the bankers that crashed the fucking world economy and after 2008 and had them write the new rules. And guess what? Here we are, you know, a little bit more than 10 years later. So to summarize this, we have a very wealthy investor of the House of Mouse coming out and saying, look, these guidelines will put you on the political side of things that you don't want to. Why? Because it is telling. It will give Disney the opportunity to say, hey, we looked into your bank account and found out that you purchased this thing that we don't like. You are no longer allowed to uh, purchase anything of Disney's. You're the, the bank the bank has been notified that you are no longer allowed and they will shut your stuff off. You won't be able to buy it. Guess what? You use a credit card online. You won't be able to use that credit card for any Disney purchases. This is what this stuff is. So we need more people who have the wealth and the power and the influence to talk about these things, to know what is going on. And this is how we do it. This is what we do. We need people to realize that we are headed for calamity in a way that might be greater than anything that we've seen. Possibly. Possibly. But there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There always is. There's always another generation that we can teach, that we can show. There's always a way. There's community that you can build. There's strength in numbers. And that's why they want us separate. That's why they want us separated. There is strength in numbers. And there's an old, uh, you guys know Foreigner. They have a fantastic live album. And on that, they did Hot Blooded, right? They, and the guy says, and he's trying to get everybody to sing. And he goes, we got the amps. You got the numbers. There's strength in numbers. Belt it out. It was fantastic. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, no, no. I don't think that was Foreigner. No, that was a Bad Company album. I think that was bad company uh merchants of cool where they actually did that and they did it all right now yeah but either way point still stands regardless of my mental stuff start gathering people and make sure that they know these things because we will win thank you all so much for checking out a drink of crazy i look forward to seeing you guys come back Hopefully you guys like what I had to say. Hopefully you guys like my style. Hopefully you guys will hit the like button. Hopefully you will hit the subscribe button. But above and beyond all of that, comment down below and engage in the conversation with me. I can't get any smarter or any better about any of this stuff unless I'm challenged on it. And I'm challenged, you know, a decent amount. And I like that. I welcome it because it makes me call things into question. So, yeah, if you don't want to like and subscribe, that's fine. Just comment for me. Comment for me and talk with me and tell me what you think. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, it's Friday night, guys. So we're going to be playing in Brawlhalla. Actually, I'll be playing Brawlhalla tonight with the subscribers and reacting to the chat. So hopefully you guys will be there for that live stream. And I will see you next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.